Hey guys, Block Squad 1000 here, and welcome back to some more of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we came over here towards Gerudo Desert, and we tried to get into Gerudo Town, um, which we couldn't really do because, of course, uh, they only let women in there, because the Gerudo are all women. So our solution was to, well, grow up hair titties. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. We had to go and meet some dude who sold us some Gerudo clothing, so now we apparently look just like a lady. So we have become a trap. Um, that's something else, isn't it? <laughs> Good old Ayanuma. He's got some wild ideas. I mean, I actually don't really know whose idea it was to put this in the game, but whoever did it, I applaud you. You are some very, very... Very lovely people. <laughs> okay, here we go. We can finally go into Gerudo Town. Hello, you two. Sava Sava. Sava Sava. We don't get a lot of Hylian Vi around here. Welcome to Gerudo Town. It is an old tradition that oh, here that only Vi are allowed within the walls. Vo are strictly forbidden. Take your time here. Vo? Yeah. Vo is a word in the Gerudo language that means man. There are many other Gerudo words, and it would help to learn them if you plan on entering Gerudo Town. But you, but you should at least remember Vo and Vi. Okay. Here's a tip. If you stop by the canteen, do, do yourself a favor and order a noble pursuit. It's hands down the best drink I've ever had. Um, so yeah, this the Gerudo actually have their own language. It's There aren't many words in the game that they actually speak in that language, but there are a couple, and I think it's kind of cool that Nintendo went through all that effort to give it a little bit of world building. Because, uh, I don't know, that's one of the aspects that I just love the most about this game, is how it just feels so alive. Out of all the Zelda games, this is the world that just feels the most real and alive. And, uh, this is definitely a prime example of that, the fact that this place has its own culture and language and everything. Every single region feels so distinct in that regard. Anyways, this place is probably my favorite town in the entire game. I say I, I say that not necessarily knowing for sure, because there's a lot of towns in this game that I really like, but I think that it kind of comes down towards this in Hateno Village. Uh, I just really love the design of this place. It's really cool, and it's actually a pretty big village, too. We can't really see it because I still haven't gone to go get the fucking tower. Why didn't I do that yet? Also, there's this Goron here for some reason. Um, Savasawa? Sava Sada? Anyway, good evening. Gerudo words are really hard to remember. I think Sav is part of half of them, and there's some starting with V. Okay. So what are you doing here exactly? It's just a random Goron here. It's kind of this funny joke. There's just Gorons here for no reason at all. And if you talk to them at some point, they'll say, like, I have no clue why they let me in here, but okay. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, at first, I thought they were supposed to be female Gorons, but they aren't. I don't think we actually ever really see any female Gorons in the series. Uh, which is... I mean, I... I imagine that there are, because they never really say whether there are or not, but I imagine that there are. Here you can buy some different colored versions of the Gerudo clothing. If you want to get them all, go ahead. Um, huh, I'm trying to decide if there's anything I want to buy. I don't really think so, to be honest. Um, you know, I'm going to actually go and buy some stuff over here, some arrows. I'm going to buy some regular ones. That's okay. That's plenty. Now I'll buy some fire arrows. Four, 420! Haha! <laughs> the funny, funny, funny number. Okay, uh... If we go back here, there's actually something we should probably check out because it's pretty cool and worth your time. Um... Hold on a sec. Uh, I think... I think actually we have to go to the other side first. There is a specific building which houses a cool secret. Uh, is it this one? I think it's this entrance right here. Alright. What's the password? F. And what comes next? Q. And after that, C. And what comes last? Music note. Go drink milk in the bar or something. Alright. The secret club secret. Alright, that gave us a little bit of a hint. I don't know... Why the hell anybody would yell at you to go drink milk in the bar? <laughs> Uh, unless it meant that there was some sort of hint over there, so let's go check it out. Um, hi. 
Vasak. Oh, are you a Hylian Vi? We don't see too many of you. I can't tell how old you are, but you looked a little young to be coming to my shop. You see, we mix special drinks here. Drinks that are definitely just for adults. Uh, okay. Bye-bye. Mm. That reminds me. I haven't seen Pokey around lately. She used to come by here every day to drink a noble pursuit, too. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't need, I don't know why I'm even telling you this. Alright, let's talk to these two. You heard the rumor? <laughs> oh, I was going to tell you. I finally got my hands on the password for you-know-where. Seriously? Wow, that place is a little crazy, isn't it? Oh. Maybe, but I'm really interested. Anyway, the password is... Wait a second! You! Did you really think we wouldn't see you standing there listening to our conversation? So rude. This is a private conversation. Go away! Alright. Well, uh, bye-bye. Um, we're gonna go in over, over here, actually, and there is... If you just stand on this wall right here, you can listen in on it. Mm -hmm. What was up with that little Hylian Vi earlier, anyway? Forget her. Just hurry up and tell us the password, Yido. Oh, that's right, the password. It's GSC Diamond. I overheard Sala talking about it, so I'm sure that's right. GSC yeah. Diamond? What could that... Oh, I get it. Gerudo Secret Club GSC. And what's the diamond at the end mean? Who knows? GSC Diamond. GSC Diamond. GSC Diamond. Okay, I can remember that. Uh, I just need to remember Grudo Secret Club. And then Diamond. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's head over here and go tell the password. Our heat resistance is about to go out. Alright. That voice. I recognize you from earlier. If you get our password wrong, you have to wait until the next day to try again. It's just basic security. We can't let any suspicious characters in here. Alright. Oh, well, now we gotta wait till the next day. That's what... She meant. Okay, well, in that case, I'm gonna go over here. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. Yes, let's get a heart container. Sure. Give it now. So do keep in mind that in this place, if you take off your clothes at any point, you will get kicked out, so you have to wear them at all times in here. Even if you take off a single piece of the clothing, they'll somehow be able to tell you. Even if it's like... I don't know, even if you just put on like a different pair of pants, they can somehow tell. <laughs> it's kind of, uh, kind of strange. Um, anyways, let's go over to the inn and sleep there for a bit. And then we'll go back and enter the password. Vasak! Oh, look at this cute little Vi. I bet you would absolutely love what we have to offer, little one. We're an inn, of course, but we also have a special spa plan. A vacation for mind and body. It's really, really popular. So popular, in fact, that we always have a long line of people waiting to get in. Although, I don't know what it is, but I just feel something special from you. You can cut to the front of the line. Oh, I'm just going on and on. What can I do for you? Let's do the spa plan. The spa plan it is. <laughs> I'm so excited to get to work. Anyway, when would you like to be woken? Uh, in the morning. Savor. You're pretty muscular for a Hylian. I like your voish figure. <laughs> what just happened? That was, uh, a little steamy, wasn't it? <laughs> Why am I being so lewd all of a sudden? <laughs> Past two episodes, I've made some... Oh, wow, look at that! Three extra hearts and a whole fucking extra wheel of stamina! That's awesome! Savota, you look like the very image of relaxation. Please be careful on your journey. The desert is dangerous. But seriously, I have no clue why I'm being so lewd all of a sudden. I've never really made this many sexual references in my videos. <laughs> it's a little out of character for me, isn't it? Alright, let's uh, head over here. And... Knock on this door. What's the password? G. Oh. S. C. Oh. Diamond! Oh. Alright, you can come in. Now, is there... This place... Hey, I haven't seen your face around here before. Hmm. <laughs> looks like we've got ourselves a rare visitor. I guess I have a suspicious mind, so maybe you don't ask too many questions and I won't either. You're a member here now, so thanks for your patronage. I think she's on to us. I think she kind of knows that we're not allowed in here. We are a man, and 
men bad. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna buy this. The Desert Vo trousers. And, I mean, the, the whole set, actually. Of course, this these are clothes that are meant for Vos, not Vi. Uh, and these will keep you... Uh, these will keep you cool in the desert, so it's very worth your money. It's, a uh, Because the desert is very unique. It is very hot during the day and very cold at night, so you need to constantly switch between clothes if you want to stay 100% safe at night. There was another pair of armor in there, which I want to buy at some point, because it's actually a pretty unique armor set, but I just can't afford it right now, because I just kind of blew all my money on this shit. Um, anyways, now that all this is done, I actually want to go, you know what, I kind of want to go and get the tower, because I should have done that, and I kind of didn't think to go do it, so we're going to go and do the tower now before we move on. I just want to unlock the map of this place. So, I didn't mention it before, but I kind of sound pretty nasally this episode because I'm recovering from a pretty nasty cold, so I'm sorry if my voice kind of sounds like shit right now. I kind of was debating whether or not I even wanted to record a video, and I kind of didn't really want to initially. And I know that that's kind of a bad thing because you shouldn't record a video if you're not going to be enthusiastic about it. Uh, however, I thought I would just sort of look past it because I want to get out as many videos as I can over the next little while because... God knows I've been slacking way too much about this Let's Play. I gotta start getting back to a more regular upload schedule, and... So yeah, I, I'm gonna start recording more regularly. I mean, oh, ooh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't wanna start, like, I, I wanna start being able to upload during weekdays instead of just weekends. So, I'm trying to push myself to record more often. Off, 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 Obviously, I won't try to push myself if I start feeling too sick, because I don't want to um, do it if, it's, if I'm just going to feel really, really sick while recording. But I think I'm well enough to record right now. Okay, we're going to just use our other Ravali's Gale. Ravioli's Gale. Uh, this place is really cool. This is, um... I like the... All the, uh, like the... Um, walkways that are along the side of the cliff. I don't know, this whole place is really, really cool in my opinion. Hello, you're gonna eat an ice arrow. Yes, you are. Uh, is that a fire rod? Yes, I don't need that though. Because it's kind of garbage. Alright, so let's use our last Revalia's Gale. Uh, I don't know, I just kind of like this place. It feels, because um, I did mention before that this was the place where they first discovered the Divine Beast, so lore-wise, this place is actually fairly important, um, because this was where all the discoveries began. Uh, I don't know, I kind of, I feel like this place is really interesting in that regard. Okay, so the tower is right up here, and can you guess where it is? Does this place seem familiar to any of you? Where do you know two rocks with a little connecting thing in the middle? Yes, this is Spectacle Rock. One of the most iconic areas in the entire franchise. The location of the very last dungeon in the first Zelda game. Obviously, this does kind of contradict with Zelda lore, because typically Spectacle Rock is featured in uh, Death Mountain. However, this time it's here in the Gerudo region, I guess. I mean, Spectacle Rock, st bleh, sp bleh. Spectacle Rock is typically found where Ganondorf is found. And, I mean, here is where he was born and raised, the Gerudo Valley, so I kind of imagine it makes sense for it to be here. And besides, there was never any, like, like predetermined logic of how Spectacle Rock should be placed on the map. I mean, Zelda, this, I mean, Hyrule, the whole idea is that it's, all the games are centuries or even millennia apart, so it doesn't have to make sense for the, for the world to stay as accurate as possible, because it's always just gonna, I don't know, it's always gonna change over time. Geography is fucking weird that way. If we blow that up, it's gonna just tumble over. This, uh, there's many different ways you can get through here. I prefer to just use Cryonis here because it's easiest. And, yeah, a lot of people are not aware you can use Cryonis on mud, but I do. 
And I discovered that just by screwing around at this tower, so it's pretty fun to discover that. Alright, the Wasteland Tower. Let's climb up. And we've almost got the entire map. There's only two regions on the on the map that we haven't uncovered yet. It's kind of sad. This Let's Play really is coming and going. We still have a lot of ways to go, though. I imagine that there's still probably about 30 episodes of this Let's Play left. Probably not that many, to be honest, but there's still plenty of stuff to do, so I don't think we'll be done anytime soon, but... Yeah. It's still sad that we've come so far so quickly. This is one of my favorite games of all time, and Let's Playing it was definitely a dream for me, so... It's crazy that I've made it this far. I don't know what I'm going to do once I've done this Let's Play, to be honest, because <laughs> this was always kind of my dream. From the moment that the game came out, I knew that I would Let's Play it someday. I was originally going to save it for much later on, actually. I was planning to Let's Play all the 3D Zelda games before doing this one, but after a while I just kind of realized that, it, I don't know, my passion for this game was just overflowing, and I really, really wanted to just put it into Let's Play form. So I said, screw it. Let's do this one. And, uh... Someday I will let's play all the 3D Zelda games. That is my goal. But, uh, this one is the one I decided to do for now. And now that the Breath of the Wild sequel's coming out, I don't know, I guess it's even more fitting that I'm doing it now. Because I started this let's play just before the game was... the sequel was announced. Which was totally awesome, actually. Um... And I'm... I don't know. Someday I might let's play the sequel, too. That's gonna be a while away, though, because the game, we don't even know when it's coming out. Anyways, where does this Korok... Oh, sorry, where is this, uh... Oh, here. Of course. Yeah, okay. Because also, I did mention back in 2017 when I Let's Played Ocarina of Time, uh, that I... Just get in there. I was gonna Let's Play Majora's Mask someday. And I was gonna say that I was gonna let's play it on in 2018, and by now it's already almost 2020, so clearly that didn't work out. But Majora's Mask is something I want to let's play very soon. But for fuck's sake, can this just get in there? Why is this so hard to slot in there? Oh, Jesus Christ. Why? <laughs> but yeah, Majora's Mask, I will do that probably sometime in the next year or so. Get on there! What the fuck? Why is this so hard? Ah! Jesus! Why is this so hard to do? Oh my god. For Christ's sake, just fit in there. It's not that hard. Ah! Be right back. Oh my god. I had to put it here. That's why! Oh my god, I just wasted so much time and I was putting it on the wrong fucking slot. Are you serious? Ah, oh, that was dumb. Um, there's also another Korok right under here. Uh, you might have seen it when we were passing by earlier. Okay, not a bomb arrow, please. Regular arrow. Less wasteful. And we're just... We're falling now. We're gonna fucking die. Oh boy. Okay, and we made it. Let's now fast travel back to Gerudo Town and get on with our actual mission. Alright, we're gonna head straight into the palace over here. And we're gonna go meet with the chief. Also, I accidentally wasted some of that extra stamina. I feel kind of bad about that. I'm gonna talk to this person first, though. What is it, ma'am? As you can see, I'm busy gathering information. Information? Ma'am, don't tell me you don't know who I am. No way, you've never heard of Rumor Mill either? I've heard of it. Yeah, thank goodness. If you'd told me you'd never heard of Hyrule's most popular news publication, Rumor Mill, well, I don't even know how I'd have the, have taken that news. It would have hurt, that's for sure. I'm Tracy herself, you know. Huh? Hey now, get that wishy-washy garbage out of here. Once more, with conviction. Huh. Truth is, I'm Tracy herself, from Rumor Mill. <laughs> I suppose that works. Anyway, I hope you enjoy reading Rumor Bill. I take myself. I take pride. I don't. I take pride. I don't know what she said. <laughs> I was. I was. I clicked. I clicked away too fast. Um, yeah, you can actually read Rumor Mill at some stables. You'll find 
some uh, papers lying around, and you can read them. She's a reporter, and you can find her sometimes uh, reporting. Anyways. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Oh. Seems you have something rather interesting there. Yes. Hello. Huh? You stand before Lady Riju, Chief of the Gerudo. Declare your business, but come no closer. Hold on, Beliera. Bel Bel That's probably how you pronounce it. This one appears to be more than a common traveler. You there. What is your name? Link. And what is it you've come all the way here to tell me, Link? I can calm Naboris. Huh? You think you have what it takes to subdue something so powerful as a divine beast? The, the only ones who could ever control them were champions like Lady Urbosa. And all of the champions died in the Calamity 100 years ago. Hmm. Villiera. A memory just jumped into my head. Something my mother spoke of. When the Calamity happened, the Princess of Hyrule placed a fallen swordsman into a deep sleep. That swordsman, much like our new friend here, was named Link. Though it always seemed more legend than fact. What is the device on this one's hip? It appears to be a precious a pr pr a precious relic of the Sheikah. I can't imagine they would give something so valuable to a simple drifter, can you? Mm. I don't remember ever hearing of a Hylian Vi among the champions. Wait a moment, you're a Vo! <laughs> a Vo within our walls is a great crime, but a Vo who is a champion. Well, we'd never mistreat a friend of Lady Urbosa. And if you're here to help us with Naboris, then we are allies. You saw it on your way to our town. Divine Beast found Naboris, cloaked in a massive sandstorm, hurling lightning at any who dare approach. Mm. That was a while ago when we snuck in here. We saw a teaser of the Divine Beast found Naboris. We have to do something to stop it, but we have yet to find any way to appease the Divine Beast on our own. If you truly are a champion, perhaps you'll be able to enter Naboris and calm its anger. Lady Riju, I don't see how you can trust a complete stranger with something as important as this task. Perhaps if this person were first to prove his worth by recovering your stolen thunder helm. Ah, yes, an interesting suggestion. You see, there is only one thing in all of Hyrule that can withstand the lightning from Naboris. The thunder helm, a family heirloom and relic of the Gerudo. But as Buliara says, it was stolen from us. You needn't worry, Lady Riju. If he truly is a champion, this should be an easy task for him. Our soldiers can tell you all that you need to know about the thieves who stole Lady Riju's heirloom. Head through this arch. It will lead you to the barracks. Then seek out Captain Take and ask for a full report. Or Tiake, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Without my heirloom, you'll never be able to approach Naboris. <laughs> you know, I take heart in having such a rare visitor as yourself. Lady Urbosa must be looking out for us. Okay. Well, we now begin our quest. Let's head down here. And are you the captain? Hey, I haven't seen Barda. Where's she gone off to? She said she was just going to scout the thieves' hideout. And then she left before we could say anything. Now that I think about it, she's been gone for two days. I wonder what happened to her. You! Are you serious? Why did you let her go by herself? And why did you wait two days to report this? I'm, I apologize, but she just wanted to check it out and would, uh, and would be careful. So I thought... Ugh, as if we weren't busy enough searching for the chief's heirloom, now we gotta find Barda too. If the captain hears about this fiasco, she'll punish us for sure. Probably 100 laps around Gerudo Desert. Again. Oh, oh no. What should we do? I'm thinking about it. Uh, I guess you must be the captain. What are you doing here? This is the barracks for the chief's guards, not a place for tourists to gather. We're on high alert after the recent theft, so you should clear out. What? Buliara sent you? My apologies. I'm the officer in charge of the soldiers, Captain Take. 
the chief's heirloom was stolen by thieves belonging to the Yiga clan the other day, so everyone's on edge. Mm. We're determined that the Yiga is hide. We sorry, we've determined that the Yiga's hideout is in the Carusa Valley, but the soldiers are all exhausted, so I was just thinking about requesting some extra help. Hey everyone, listen up. This highly and Vi has agreed to help us, so offer her any information you can. Consider yourself a part of our unit. If you have any questions, my troops will be happy to help. Okay, uh... Okay, let's talk to the soldiers again, then. We're continuing our investigation through the heat of day and the cold of night. So far we know uh, about the thieves. These thieves are highly skilled in both stealth and disguise. They refer to themselves as the Yiga. We are aware of them. They slipped into town in the dark of night, stole the chief's heirloom, and vanished like smoke in the wind. We believe them to be descendants of the Sheikah tribe that splintered and turned to villainy. But why would you want to steal the Thunderhelm? Sorry, why would they want to steal the Thunderhelm? Where's the hideout? Well, we know that the thief's hideout is in Carusa Valley. The path through the valley is very difficult. Despite repeated attempts to infiltrate the hideout, we haven't yet managed to set foot inside. Painful though it is to admit, it seems possible that some of some other group of desert dwellers has bested us. Okay, well... Uh, we also talk to you. As you can see, we are in the middle of spear training. Take a talk, whatever her name is, her permission or no, I would ask that you not interfere. All right, is that all the information we need then? What if we talk to you as well? Barda hasn't returned in many days. Could she have been captured by those thieves? No, the sandstorms out near the Crusa Valley have been bad. I'm certain she's gotten lost or stranded. I'm worried for her. I'll have to go with a, go out with a sand seal and search again, but ugh, it makes me feel so sick to surf around with one. Okay, I think that's everything then. Let's just check our adventure log just to be safe. Okay, well, we can now head out towards the Carusa Valley then, which is over here. So we got a bit of a trek to go with. But that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Next time... We will venture out into the vast Gerudo Desert and head towards Crusa Valley in search of the Yika Clan. We're going to take the fight to them. See you guys later. Bye. Had to jump off the wall for some reason.